We're here today speaking with David Lomas from M3 Publishing. And David's here to tell us about his innovative approach to how to build your business using his fantastic email magazine. So over to you, David. Okay, thank you. Um, let me, I'll explain a little bit about M3 Publishing. Um, we've been in email marketing for seven years now. Uh, we originally started publishing simple newsletters, uh, single page newsletters. Um, and we've developed the business to a point that we now produce multi-page magazines for our different clients. So who is this magazine aimed at? Um, I'll give you an example. Uh, one of my clients is a firm of commercial valuers and surveyors, professional property people. They have 25,000 customers across the UK. They're very good at acquiring customers. When you've got that many customers, the, y your main problem is how you can communicate on a permanent mm. basis with them. Uh, you've not got a chance to phone them up, not when you've got that many. Um, and it would be very expensive if you wanted to send them any sort of mail shot out. So email marketing is the only real way of, of, of doing that job cost effectively. So we've created for them a Property Matters magazine, which contains useful, in, useful information aimed at the recipient. Now, their recipients, are 15,000 companies that we have on their email database. Invariably, going, they're going to be finance directors, managing directors, uh, and property managers, and some of the larger clients. And they want to be kept to, aware of property matters. So the content within the magazine, as the title explains, Property Matters magazine, is all things relating to property. Um, and they will, 15,000 of them, will receive this magazine each month. One of the things we have built into the system is a, a measurement facility. So my client knows who he's sent it to, but he can even check which of his clients are reading which articles within the magazine, which you can appreciate can be very, mm -hmm. very helpful mm -hmm. when you've got so many clients to deal with. He can select the five or six that may have read the article about, recently we did an article about empty factory relief, and my client said, look, five of our largest customers have been reading that article. That's really helpful. It doesn't half save him time when he yeah, has sure. to communicate with mm. someone. So what other clients do you work with, have you worked with, or would you like to work with? One of our clients is ASICS, who are a, an international sportswear company. They produce very um, good quality uh, running shoes and training shoes, as well as sports clothing and they're, they're a global brand. Um, in this country we've created a running magazine for them uh, and we call it My Running Magazine. Uh, it contains articles and information about things like hydration and you know foods that provide energy um, specifically for people who want to run and of course there are one or two articles about products and of course those products will be ASICS products. Um, that goes to a database of s amateur and semi-professional runners throughout the UK. So say I was a small business owner, I'm just starting up and I don't have many contacts. How would you be able to help me? Okay, we've got a, a magazine that we've recently developed for just that purpose, for the small business, who haven't perhaps got the budget that the, the likes of ASICs have got. Um, we've created a business magazine, and it's actually called My Business Magazine. So if we, we take your average business that may be a, a printing company, they sometimes have a difficulty communicating with clients on a regular basis because when you do printing, <laughs> they think there's perhaps not much more that you can talk about other than say, well, we do printing, do you need any? It would be far better for them to say, can we send you a copy of our business magazine? It's got some articles in there that may suggest different ways to help build your business. Could we send you a copy? I've not found anybody yet who said no to that. Now when you receive that from the printer, there might be an article in there about direct mail and how direct mail could be used by you to help build your business. Well, Effectively, that's an article that's really come from the printer, but it's been put in such a better way because I'm stimulating you and showing you an idea and a case study of how successful it was and how it's worked for someone. Now, once you've read that, it's much more powerful. When it says, click here and get more information, I then get the response 
as a printer from that potential client. Uh -huh. oh. So it actually gets the clients to come back to the printer rather than them always having to go out and get business. Sure. Um, this sounds fantastic, but I'm not very good at uh, the technical stuff, so would it be a lot of work for me to set something like this up? Not at all. We do everything for you. We've designed the magazine, we've built the facilities to send the magazine out, I have a team of copywriters who will write the articles and they will sit with you, as we are doing now, and take information about you, good stories about you and your business, so we can put them into useful and stimulating articles within the magazine. So everything's taken care of. The only thing that you need to do as a small business is go out and talk to people and acquire more email addresses or permission mm. to contact them. But with a magazine like this, it makes even that job so much easier because you've got something really impressive to offer them. Just to give me an idea, what sort of content was in your last magazine? In the latest magazine, we've got everything from articles about how direct mail may work for a business. Uh, that articles effectively come from a printer. In a lot of cases, printers do tend to sell on price, and I think it's a, a downfall of the industry. They forever, forever send me emails, email, sending me emails that are saying, "Look, we'll do your printing this month. We'll do it ten pounds off, mm -hmm. <laughs> cheaper than we were doing it last month," and they're all killing the market themselves. I'd rather sell you the principle of direct mail and show you how we can really make that direct mail work for you by creating something with impact, with some really nice design, really good quality looking communication and when we send it out we can show you a case study of how it's been so much more successful for a particular company. If in turn you read that and think that's what I want to do, that's helpful. You can click on the magazine and instantly the message will go to my printer client and say talk to this lady, she wants to look at a direct mail campaign. That's going to be far more valuable to him mm. than doing a thousand leaflets. And now I'm really putting you on the spot. Just give me some indication of price costings. No great shocker. If we're putting some, somebody into that business magazine, we're talking a cost of £595 to set it up. Then we have a monthly cost of £145. That covers the cost of putting the whole thing together, doing your articles, of interviewing you, um, and sending it out on a monthly basis. There is one other advantage that I haven't yet pointed out. That cost is the, the charge we make for, for building it, putting it together, and transmitting it for you. Consider the other 11 businesses that we would also work with on that magazine, and we put a total of 12 articles in that magazine from a number of different businesses who are all non-competing and complementary where possible. That same magazine is branded up for each of them and sent to their database. So as well as having a communication with your own customers, which is professional and stimulating, you've also got your article in their copies of the magazine, which are going to their databases. Now, in this first magazine we've put together, we've already got a collective database of 35,000 businesses that will be receiving it, which I'm staggered about. Mm. So, there's no cost for that. That's a bonus. But that's worth a considerable amount of money. And you as a small business would never otherwise have access to any of those databases. Absolutely amazing. Fantastic. David, thank you so much. Brilliant.